Welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. And today we are going to practice painting some cupcakes and then we are going to paint one to put on a gift card. So let's get painting. So I'm going to practice painting some cupcakes and I want to fit five on this paper. So I'm going to start it, my first one down here, just with a line. And then I'm going to come up and I'm going to flare the line out a little bit. This is the bottom of our cupcake. And you know they're in those little cupcake wrappers and they have that distinctive fluted up and down edge to it. Now my cupcake is going to be a generous sized cupcake. I like, if I'm gonna draw a cupcake, I am going to add a lot of frosting to it. So just pile it on, one, two, three, and then a little top twist to it there. So it looks like a pyramid. It's a graceful shape and you can mound it up And part of this exercise is to exercise my imagination. How many different kinds of shapes, flavors, color combinations can I put together? And it's a wonderful um, exercise to do. It's just an exercise in simple creativity that anybody can achieve. So that's the crease in my cupcake container. And I have to turn this a little bit because my hand naturally goes from side to side, but I have to have it so I can swing my arm that way. So I'm just going to do that. So this cupcake's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to make it a little bit wider just to change it up and put in my distinctive top. And let's see, I think I'll make this one have a little twist to it. So this side is gonna be shorter, this side's gonna be a little bit higher, and I'm gonna bring it down. Okay, then this side's going to be Gonna come down like this. It's kind of soft. It looks like snow drift, seeing as we're getting a snowstorm. And I want to think about keeping it center like that. So I, I'm getting a little off here. So what can I do? I'm gonna bring this over a little bit more. Bring this over. And my top twist, I'm gonna have a real loop up here. There, oh, that looks like fun. Or, instead of that, how about I do something a little different. I think I'll put, let's put a strawberry on top of this. So a strawberry shape is um, not quite round. It's a little narrower at the bottom, and it's got to be sunk down in. I have to push it down into this. into the frosting. So here I'm going to mound it up here, mound it, bring it across, mound it up. Now that all looks like, oh, what a mess she's got there. But you know what? I am drawing lightly. I am drawing lightly and it is uh, all going to be erased away. So I'm not too worried. And I'm drawing with I'm drawing with a just a mechanical number two pencil and it erases very easily and it is just so very nice to work with. So I think I'm going to make this top notch even bigger, a little more twist to it, just twist it around and exaggerate like the top on a custard. 
and it comes on that custard. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Now let's put one down here. I want to fit as many cupcakes in here as I possibly can. This maybe I'll make taller and skinnier. Just to challenge myself to come up with different, something different. And some, a theme that's very popular is Elsa. This looks like, these look like, um, let's make them look like, even more like icicles. Do you see how my mind works? <laughs> so let's make this here. And let's put a, like a frozen, it's real simple. Snowflake embedded in the top. We can do that. And then we can put ice crystals all over this. Make it a blue, blues. And there's a little crease for every top and bottom. It creases down here, it creases up here, in and out. So there's just a little um, line there coming down from each of the the points on the wrapper. Okay, so this is going to be blue, an ice, an Elsa theme. And let's see, this one. You kind of want to end and we can vary our, our little zigzags up and down. And you can flare this out more. It can be straight up and down, however you want to do it. Let's see, this one. Oh, we, we, you know what? We need a birthday. One for a birthday. So I'm going to, I just like the cupcake and the frosting always to overflow over the edge. Keep it real simple, the frosting, the outline of the frosting. Don't worry about putting too many jigs or uh, making it fancy or more wobbly. Just kind of let the shapes flow out. So here I'm going to put in a candle, just straight up and down. And I'm going to show it with the flame so it kind of it's going to burn down. And I don't need to show a wick or anything, but I can't, my, there's going to be a little flame, just like that, have a, like a teardrop shape. Have that, I want to show you, I'm not going to let it touch. Just going to look like it, it's melted, and it comes down like that. Round out the bottom a little bit more. Good. Let's see. Oh, we've run out of sh space here. Can we fit one more in the middle? Do one mini one. Come on, I can do it. Oh, this is a mini. They have mini baby little baby cakes. Yes. There. Keep it baby. baby cake. Okay. This is going to be, um, have to be tall and skinny. Let's put it up to, all the way up to here. Just going to go like that. Somewhere in between there. Just kind of keep doing it lightly until I get a profile that I like. Try again. So it's graceful. Okay, that's better. 
Okay, so there's my four different cupcakes, five different cupcakes. So now we have to decide what flavors and how are we going to decorate these confections. And this first one I think we'll add some M&Ms to. So just going to smush my M&Ms in here and there. They don't have to all be perfectly arranged. I want to so I'm doing this, I'm trying to balance them out a little bit. So there are some there. Well, we might have to put another one here. There, that's a little better. Okay, and my strawberry, my strawberry is, should I make my strawberry bigger? I think so. Make that strawberry bigger. And I think I'll, Add maybe some little um, red sprinkles with it. So I'm going to just add some little, the little, what looks like a big strawberry, this little red um, decorations. What are they called? Jimmies? Little sprinkles? Sprinkles. And this one I'm going to leave to last. Here is the our Elsa one that's going to be blue and I'm going to use some just crystals, those big crystals, those they're like big sugar granules. I don't know why but they cost a fortune. And just regular sugar doesn't work. These are the big, they're big crystals that you can get that we fall for. That we, yes, we have to have that. So then we can dress this up a little bit, our ice crystal, and maybe put a couple little flares on it when I'm, and I'll do that when I'm using my pen. And here will be, I think this is, will be a mint chocolate chip. So this is going to be green and some chocolate, little bits of chocolate jimmies on here. And that looks good to me. Okay, we've got a nice selection. So now I'm going to use my Sharpie. This is an ultra fine Sharpie. And I don't want to push down hard. But what you don't want to do is push down hard and hold the pen down for a long time. I don't want my outline to be the most important thing here. I want it just to suggest the outside shape of my of my cupcake. So I want to do the smallest part first. So I'm going to do the um, M&Ms. And so I'm just holding this lightly. I don't have a real hard grip, just a real light grip. And I'm not worried about making those shapes perfect. And now I'm just going to put some M's on here in different directions just because oh that was a bad end but it still would be fine and I'm going to go around the part of the frosting that's still seen this here And I'm going to hit, make a little line down here to show the crease wherever there is a high or a low point. Okay? So 
it's easier for me to turn the paper to draw those straight lines. Alrighty. So this I didn't, I should have turned it. I'll just do that. Shouldn't play with it though. Once you do it, just leave it alone. It'll be okay. The more you play with something, the worse it gets. So just leave it alone. Try again. Try, try again. going to paint them and my challenge to myself is to make sure these are all a different color a different color pattern so if this one I know is going to be blue and this one's going to be green oh I have to come up with all these other colors so I think I will start with just start at the top and I am using a koi watercolor set that I like a lot and you probably would too if you have one. Any watercolors will do. Watercolors are terrific whether they're kids or whether they're a nice set like this. This is a special travel set and it has 48 colors and it's compact and easy to go and I like it a lot. So let's start with this pink. Look at this great pink. And I am using a, something called a soft grip paintbrush. It's a round number six and I can fill in big areas or by holding it upright I can get in and get around in small areas. Now I don't want to, I left a couple little areas white, that's okay, because it just adds a little um, liveliness to your painting. What I'm going to try and do is paint this so it's all wet at the same time. So you need enough water to and paint fast enough so that you come around and everything is wet at the same time. That way they'll, the paint will all flow into each other and it will, there won't be any brush strokes. So I'm just going to come in here and just while it's all wet, touch it with a little bit darker color and just add a little bit of variety. And all on its own because this is wet. This is going to just gently fade into each other, the colors, and it'll just create a nice variation in the color. Okay, how about a strawberry color for up here, a little different from the pink. I want an orangier red. And I am not worried about reality here on my strawberry. I'm suggesting this is a more of an illustration. And I'm just going to, I think, make this like it's whipped cream. Strawberries and whipped cream go together. So I want a very, very light blue. So I'm adding a lot of water to a little blue. And I'm just going to create like a shadow on here where, like in the under areas of this whipped cream. 
and I'm going to come back later and add the cup to the bottom part because I want this to dry. All right. Now I'm going to my Elsa. My Elsa cupcake. So I think I'm going to go with a little bit of a... Let's see here. I've got to be careful to paint around all of my ice crystals because I want them to show up. So I have to paint a little quickly here. And I kind of put a, a puddle of paint on here and I'm working from that little puddle that I started with like this. I just let some come out and I'm just going to reach back into that instead of dipping, going back and forth and dipping all the time. The more you paint with watercolors, the more you become comfortable with little things like that. They just become second nature. Just going to go back and trying to make it all wet at the same time. I think I'm also just going to use the tip of my brush just to add a little bit of blue to that. And now we have over here our mint chocolate chip. I'm going to let that dry before I do the chocolate chips because I don't want to touch that part, but I think I'm going to um, come up here and instead of a plain candle, I think I'm going to put some stripes in here and make this a looking like a peppermint stick candle. I'm going to tip it. So I can just use the tip of my brush like that. Just a little extra. And I can do the flame now. So I'm going to do a yellow. Just paint it in yellow. Make sure I've got like a nice little puddle of yellow in there and then I'm just going to touch it with some orange. I don't want too much, just a little so it's like a little glow. That orange will just kind of fade into the yellow. All right, and this one here I thought we could have some fun with practicing our blending. I'm going to start with a little pink. And this you have to work a little quickly. Go to the next color on our color wheel. Put in orange. You see what you can do if you have using good paper? I can pull that back in if I made that 
orange I went out of the line there I just pulled it in with my finger not a very professional thing to do but yeah, it works next color is yellow blend it in while it's still wet now the next color I'm gonna go for And these colors all mix in with each other. They're, they're next to each other on the color wheel. And so they make a lovely blender. I'm gonna just help this along. I mix it so I've got go from yellow to lime. And then to green, and I'm gonna find a turquoise to blend in with the green because turquoise is a mixture of green and blue. Now that we've practiced painting and drawing our cupcakes, let's make one for a gift card. And for this, I'm going to use a 140 pound watercolor paper. And it's cut to three by four and a half, so it fits on a nice gift card. And I'm going to just start with a line down the center to make sure I, I've got my cupcake and all the frosting centered on this because it's it's nice to have it centered. Here's our cake. Well, I think I'm gonna stop there. Where would you have stopped? I don't know, sometimes I just keep going until I have to say that is enough. So, now I think it's ready to give to a friend. I like to pop these in a drawer and have them ready when I need one. So I hope you enjoyed painting with me today at Mimi's Sketchbook. <music>